Hey everybody, this is Lewis Lewis Speaks 2020 and today I want to talk to you about how to maintain your peace and your calm when you're dealing with toxic individuals. I realize that a lot of people in this world are traumatized and that causes them to present as very toxic and a lot of people love, 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 love seeing you come undone over them. You know, I know that there are certain exes that I have been in relationships with where they like to see me sad. They like to see me angry. They like to see me upset because it meant that they had power over me. It meant that they had the power to affect my emotions the power to affect my sleep, the power to affect my appetite, my thought process. It meant that they had this influence over me. And I realized that we live in a world now that's very demonic. You know, Satan, the devil, likes to have influence over people and draw them away from God the way a lot of his servants like to also have influence over people so that way they can draw people away from their true identity, away from their happiness, away from their motivation. People like to take you away from yourself. They really do. But my motto in 2020 is, I'm not gonna blow up, I'm a glow up. When they sit up there and they wanna try to antagonize you and instigate your anger and inspire your anger, don't do it. Do not give these people energy. Do not give them attention. Do not give them life. Just focus on you and your dreams and your goals. Because the thing about it is this. When all is said and done, when all is put away, all you have is yourself. Your peace, your tranquility, your serenity, all you have is that. And so you can't let anybody affect your peace. In 2020, if you cannot be my peace, then I say peace. Because I'm not going to sit up here and deal with the nonsense. I'm not having it. I think about all the relationships that I have been in in the past and how these exes, they enjoyed seeing me come undone. They enjoyed it. They got a sick pleasure from watching me in pain. And a part of me fed into it for a while. A part of me allowed myself to be in pain so that way I can somehow please them. But I realized, you know something, Lewis, why, why would you do that? Why would you put yourself in pain and agonize over these people just to prove to them that you're loyal, just to prove to them that you're worthy, just to prove to them you don't have to prove anything to anybody anymore because you already know who you are. You already know that you are a wonderful person, a talented person, an amazing person. You don't have to prove anything to anyone anymore. And that's what I tell myself. And I encourage everyone out there to tell themselves the same thing because you don't have to audition for love. You don't have to tap dance for somebody's approval. You know, you don't also have to give energy, you know, and allow other people to influence you. No, because people love to be influencers. They love it. They love the attention. They love the, the good things that they get. The wonderful things that they get from watching you just come unraveled. Don't feed into it. Do not feed into it. My thing is they have a method that when you're dealing with a narcissist, it's called the gray rock method when they try to say stupid comments or side comments or backhanded comments, you just nod your head mm -hmm, and you just look at them. You don't give them supply. You don't give them a reaction because a lot of people are chasing reactions. They want your reaction. They want your anger. They want your sadness. They want your negative feelings. They want that. That gives them energy. That gives them life seeing your death. That gives them life. So starve them. Don't give them life. And that's hard when you're an empathic person, when you're an expressive person, when you're emotional, because it's in your nature to be expressive, you know? And that's why narcissists, they love empaths. 
They love kind-hearted people, emotionally expressive people because those people, they have supply. They're like a plump vein, you know? A parasite loves a plump, juicy vein, a juicy vein full of blood because it's a lot of supply. It's a lot of supply. And so they love overly emotional individuals, but do not give them time. You control your feelings and you also can control your environment, your proximity to the people that are traumatized and toxic. Distance yourself. Go ghost, no explanations. You don't owe nobody an explanation. You just do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself because at the end of the day, you are left by yourself. And you have to make sure that you are good. Because the truth of the matter is very few people are out there in the world that got your back. You have to teach people how to treat you by having your back first. You have to have your back. And today I got my back. I got my back because it's necessary. There's a war going on out here and that war is self-esteem, self-confidence. This world wants to try to break you down piece by piece. And it's a slow undoing. It's not all overnight, no. It's a gradual, they gradually chip away at your self-esteem, at your confidence. They chip away at it. Don't let them. Because if you, if you want to continue to feel good about yourself and uphold your feelings, you need to make sure that you associate with those who bring the best out in you. I realized that my God, my heavenly father who is in heaven, he's a happy God. And as his offspring, as his child, I need to reflect that happiness too. And anybody that's trying to make me feel miserable, that's trying to bring me down, that's trying to put an anchor on my spirit, they have got to go. 2020, no thanks. If you put an anchor on my smile, you have got to go, period. No if, ands, or buts. So I encourage everybody out there to adopt this philosophy. You know, do not blow up, glow up. Make sure that you treat yourself good. Treat yourself the way that you would want a lover, a partner to treat you. And so I leave you with that thought and I wish everybody a great, great day. Happy 2020 and just keep your hands open. Don't hold on to the negativity. Don't hold on to the baggage. Keep your hands open, let go so that way you can receive your blessings because your blessings are coming. Your blessings are coming. So make sure that your hands are free to receive them. This is Lewis, Lewis Speaks 2020. Peace.